Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today again on Nolly Reviews. If this is your first time watching me, please I would love you to click the like button, I would love you to click the subscribe button because I don't want you to miss anything from this channel. Nolly Reviews channel on YouTube is a channel where you can always come for unbiased reviews on Nollywood movies, be it English or Yoruba. And maybe sometime soon I'll start watching Ghanaian movies as well. Anyway, let's go straight to the review for today. Today I'm reviewing a Nollywood Yoruba movie titled Eliza. Should I call it English or Yoruba? Anyway, the title of the movie is Eliza. It's a movie by Tony Bankoli and directed by Adebayo Tijani. I tell that this movie casted Biodun Oke Owomu Iwademola Funke Akindele, Liza Silva, Oluwa Sheyi Edo, Abdulatif Adedimeji, just to mention a few. And they all did well. You know, I wasn't disappointed with Liza, with Liza Silva's acting. She's a good actress. I like Mui Iwademola's acting as well. They all did well. Oluwa Sheyi Edo, she did a fantastic job. So, um, I want to tell you a few things that I like about this movie. I like the concept, the costumes were on point. When I mean on point, I mean on point. Talking about the cars, the, you know, 504, in 1995, the raining car then, you know, what would you expect? Same 504 cars, Pojo 504, 505, the outfits, the costumes, Safari was what the big men, you know, were wearing. So they really put attention to the costumes in this movie and that I like. The location, the locations that were used throughout the movie, those things I like about this movie. Something else I would like to mention about this movie was the suspense that was added. I'm sure that a lot of people would have thought or guessed that Ibidu, acted by Funke Akindele, was actually responsible for Fikayo's death. It was actually the night Ibidu came into Fikayo's house you know, that Fikayo died. So a I'm sure that a lot of people would have thought that it was Ibido that was responsible for her death. So I like the little twist, the little suspense that was added to the movie, you know, that at the end of the day we realized that it was Mary that actually killed our sister. And let me go to the things that I observed. You know, I always observe something, right? The first was about the lunatic display. You can imagine, after five years, you want to tell me that Mary's clothing did not get dirty at all, it didn't get turned, she didn't change it, she didn't wear additional outfits, you know, in five years. Like, really? Where Fikayo was reading the letter, I expected that there should be consistency, you know, she read one in English, she read the other in Yoruba, and pretty much the translation in this movie, the subtitling was on point. I actually took my time to read most of, you know, most of the translations in the scenes and they were pretty good. So I was wondering, so why was the letter, why was one read in English and the other in Yoruba? You know, it should have been in Yoruba since the translation was really good. One thing I, I noticed was acknowledgements, you know, I only saw um, Ebenezer Obey's name in the music and I realized that at least two different times I heard Whitney Houston's um, um, song you know, in the movie as well. That's like, at least, that song should have been acknowledged as well. The third thing that I observed was the very last part, or second to the last part, you know, the hospital scene where Eliza was questioning um, Mary, our auntie. I really got bored, you know, with all the story back and forth, all the story. It was too long. It was like a waste of time to me. She gave too much information at that point. At least it should have been cut, like reduced somewhere, somehow. But besides those things, the production, I loved the picture quality, the sound quality was good. The costume in this movie was fantastic. About trust, love and life. Um, my rating on this movie will be a 3.5 over 5. You know, I'm always, um, I'm always sincere. I, I want to believe that I'm always sincere with my ratings. If you want to check what, um, what I use in, in, in rating my movies, check my channel videos. You'll find a, um, like two videos where I actually mentioned what I use in rating my movies. Let me stop here for today. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. You don't want to miss anything from this channel because I paint it for you black and white. Thank you so much for joining me. Stay blessed and remember, God loves you. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.